If you guys have some old parts or even a car laying around that you're not using anymore, go ahead, list it on Throttle, 100% free. We don't take commission, anything like that. Make some cash, list them up. Link's in the description. Check it out. What is up guys and welcome back to another vlog. I'm Evan, if you're new here and this is the Throttle YouTube channel, go ahead smash that subscribe button real quick. I never thought this day would come so soon, but we're saying bye to the BMW E90. All right, so guys, I am here at Daniel's house. Daniel, right here, I'm gonna toss off his Instagram He's gonna be documenting the whole detail process, so if you wanna see how much he cleans this car up, all you gotta do is just check out his Instagram, toss him a follow, I'm sure it's gonna come out really, really nice. Yeah. You think you can make a big improvement on this? Definitely a big improvement for sure, but the ceramic coating and the polymer sealant is definitely gonna look like it's wet. Awesome. gonna come out really really good it's gonna make a world of a difference to have this thing finally clean finally looking pretty good so to show you how dirty this car actually is look at all of this in there oh my god it's gonna be a lot of work yep Underneath the engine bay. I don't know if this has ever been cleaned under here, but we're gonna make this looking real good. Um, other than that, you know, you can see there's just a thick layer of dirt everywhere, and uh, might even do a little something special with the exhaust tips, we'll see. A bunch of you guys have been wondering what this old Datsun truck has been doing at the hunt quarters, and I figured this man had some explaining to do. So why don't you tell us what this truck is, who it belongs to, and what the plans are. Yeah, so it's a 1969 521 Datsun pickup, and essentially, if you guys follow TJ's channel, you know that we now have a relationship with LTMW, and LTMW is a U.S. distributor for Rocket Bunny and Pandem body kits, the wide bodies, basically that you see on all the 240s and BRZs and all that stuff. At any rate, and I'm really good friends with the owner of LTMW, so he asked me as a favor, could I get an SR20 and five-speed transmission into this truck if he brought the truck to us? Of course we can. Just some motor mounts and a transmission mount. So basically, they brought the car down, dropped it off at the hunt quarters uh, with the SR20 engine. This is an SR20 DE engine, so it's a non-turbo engine, um, which honestly makes it quite a bit easier to get in the engine bay because we don't have to deal with a turbo, manifold, intercooler piping, all that stuff. Um, essentially, everything else packaging-wise is the same on an SR20 DE um, as a SR20 DE team. If you think about starter, alternator, um, and all of the miscellaneous pumps and, and things like that on it. So these swaps have been done. We know it goes in. Um, I've test fit the motor already. Just need to come up with an engine mount solution. Uh, we are working with a supplier to try to get a prefab engine mount set up so we don't have to do the fabbing ourselves. Um, we're just trying to utilize a partner. And uh, essentially what might have to happen is we'll have to make our own, uh, which was the goal in the beginning anyway. Uh, it isn't a problem, but we like to get our partners involved where we can. So um, the, the little bit of holdup that we have had on this truck has been just waiting on that partner to get back to us. So hopefully we'll know some more this week and we can jump back on this thing. Um, it is a car that was shipped to California from Ohio. Uh, it even has the original tags on the back. I can show you guys, which is pretty cool. Obviously the truck's been here for a while, it's turned into a little bit of a catch-all for Dustin and Calvin's bumpers, but uh, if you get in here close, you can actually see that 
It has the 1973 tags on it from Ohio still, which are pretty sick. Um, That's cool. It's got a cool patina on it look, too. Look, can you zoom in on this? Can you focus on this? So this is basically rusty. I don't want to take too much of the patina off because that's why they bought this truck was for the rust. And look at this. It's been sitting under a tree or something. It actually started to turn green. Um, so essentially like while I've been working on this truck, I've been trying not to touch the car because I don't want to make any area of it shiny or like disturb the patina that has obviously taken since the 70s to, to create. Um, but these trucks are really neat. I mean, everything's very manual, like the latching system for this. It has all these like tie down hooks all the way around the bed, which is synonymous with 60s and 70s trucks. Um, it has a big brake upgrade, believe it or not, behind these wheels. Um, I don't know what exactly the upgrade is, but uh, it's essentially uh, a, a bigger bracket with a bigger uh, caliper on the front, which is necessary when you're gonna put two to 300 horsepower through this old truck. The interior is like super kitschy, like, you know, the freaking Mexican blanket, seat, and, and all that. I've removed the center. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's a little rough around the edges, but the, the long and short of this is this truck is being built for Kay Mira, the founder of Rocket Bunny. Um, and he really wanted this old Americana look to the truck, and this truck is being built for him to use to visit his customers and to take to events in the United States when he's here, which is a lot. So. They've got this truck, they've also got an E30 um, BMW over at LTMW that they're building for him currently as well. So, we're gonna get the engine in this thing soon and get it back to LTMW so they can finish doing the rest of the drive chain work, the wiring and all that stuff, and hopefully you'll see this thing on the road soon. So if you guys wanna see more of the dots and content, what I want you guys to do is drop a line in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up. That will let us know that you guys wanna see more of that and I will be working with Mickey and we can record a lot more content on that. Over the next week or two, that thing's gonna get all buttoned up and then back off to LTMW. So. So I gotta handle a bunch of office stuff right now, getting some VIPs out, get some of the orders out. So let me just go ahead and set the camera down and we'll go from there. All right, so guys, I wanna make a huge shout out to our most recent Throttle VIP members, Alexander, Billy, Jared, Joey, uh, Quentin, Dequan, and Cole. Shout out to you guys, and shout out to all the guys who have signed up for Throttle VIP over the month of February, and just in general, and we're giving away five grand in less than two weeks. If you guys have not joined yet, but you're interested in learning more, go ahead and check out the link in the description, or stay to the end of this video. There's a little introduction video you guys can check out. I know you guys will enjoy it. I think that's all the time I have for you guys today, so if you like what you saw in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember that if you want to see more of the Datsun truck, please drop a line in the comments below, and uh, definitely hit that subscribe button, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Using Throttle VIP is without a doubt best things you could do as a car guy. Not only will you be automatically entered in a chance to win cool prizes every month by not free air suspension, but you'll save 10% on all brand new parts in the Throttle shop, and Throttle will price match those parts for you as well. It's a no-brainer. I saved about 200 bucks being a member of Throttle VIP. If it wasn't for Throttle VIP, my car wouldn't be slammed the way it is now. The greatest investment you can make as a car person is Throttle VIP. You're gonna get the best discounts on the best parts, and you're never gonna get a deal anything like it anywhere else on the internet in person no matter where you go i highly recommend getting throttle vip it's definitely worth it